Hey everybody, Steve Chase here. Quick video on showing what customers owe you. And if you go to the reports tab, you'll have the ability to look in the section called who owes you. Today's video is going to focus on this report here called invoices and received payments. Okay, so first thing you do when you run it is you're going to verify the current time frame. So I've got this year to date, which is fine. You'll see that we're grouping it by customer and then within there is it. Well, there might be some opportunities where you might want to show a little bit more detail. And to do that, you're going to go up to the top and click on customize. From here, we can modify the change columns. And if there's anything in particular that you'd like to see, for example, maybe the payment terms, Perhaps if it was ever emailed out, the invoice was emailed out. Um, I like these here, the create by, the last modified by, the last modified date. Those are, those are really good helpful tools as well to show. Uh, payment method might be helpful, PayPal, check, that kind of thing. Okay, um, I'm going to select the filter here, and the only filters that we have the ability is would be to filter it by a customer. So that could definitely be very helpful there. Maybe I want to do um, one Fibonacci here and one true source. So those cost customers there hit run. There we are. Okay, so the bold would be the payments under above the invoice that it's applied for. So that is the structure that we have here. Um, what I'll call your attention to is you have the ability to uh, rearrange some of these columns here. So if it was important that you started with the pay p method first, click customize and take pay method and just drag it all the way up to the top and hit run report here. So that might be helpful. The other option that you have, if this list was, um, if there was no filter and there's a large list, you might do a control F on your keyboard or command F on a, on a Mac, because maybe you're looking for a particular invoice number. So for example, maybe I was looking for invoice 1100. So I type 1100 enter and I can discover there's three invoices here now, now the truth there's only one invoice one one but there's three payments is it would be the more appropriate term here for that okay so upon clicking on any of that invoice January 5th we can confirm uh, yep we've got three payments here in the different dates what the balance is and that's uh, the structure that we have here. So in my next video, I'm going to share with you how to provide a statement for the customer that shows all of the payments with the invoices together to be able to manage um, and a nice, nicer report to share with a particular customer that, we're, that wants to see this, all the invoices and pay dates applied in a given period. So stay tuned for that next video. Anyways, I'm Steve Chase. Thanks for watching. See you on the next video.